thinking of getting an Android streaming box that doesn't hurt the pocket? Well, I'd like to introduce to you the Jinx Box M6. It may look small, but this box is a powerful beast inside. So let's take it for a spin in this video review. For all your streaming box needs, visit theaterinabox.tv. The folks at theaterinabox.tv sent me this Jinx Box M6 to review, so here's my take on it after spending some time with this device. First off, yes, the M6 is much smaller than the remote. The device itself is, a very, is very compact and built very well. Maybe tiny, but it packs a punch on the specs, pushing out AML8726 MX Dual Core ARM Cortex 8.9, up to 1.5 GHz, and it can push 1080p playback. Now, on the side of the box, you'll see two USB ports and a memory slot that can store up to 32GB of space. Now, the device itself has about 4 gig gigabyte NAD total space so you might want to buy a micro SD card to store more apps on this device now let's take a look at the back you got an Ethernet plug-in keep in mind that this device has built-in wireless 802.11 and one slot of CVBS maybe wonder what the heck is that well it's a composite video blanking and sync just a video signal mainly analog and you got your HDMI port and power in. I know what you're wondering, does this device get hot? Well the answer is yes. Sure the compact case of the M6 is nice and all but the heat that comes out of the device is almost burning hot and it leaves no room for air to come in and out. The vents at the bottom do help but I would advise you to place this device in a ventilated area if you're running it 24-7. Now let's take a quick look at the remote. The remote is tiny and compact as well just like the device with its slick buttons that are very well placed and a big d-pad in the middle of the remote. The remote is IR controlled and powers with two AAA batteries for the back. The remote's design is very slick and unique because of its shape which is easy to hold if you have tiny hands. As you can see I would have to move this remote almost to the top of my hands so I can use it comfortably. So if you have big hands then it might be a problem. Now I love the remote and all but putting the battery on this remote was a bit of a pain. The backing is made of plastic and you almost don't want to ruin it but that's what it feels like when you're prying it off the back to put the batteries in. Luckily you only have to do this once. Now, for this review, we're going to do it a little different. First off, let me show you the original software that came with the M6, as you can see right now. It's supporting an Android version of uh, 4.1.2. So you get everything Android out the box. Now, like everybody else, it comes with the infamous XBMC. The M6 has XBMC pre-installed version 12.3 which by the way is bare bone so you're gonna have to install everything else yourself but let's change it up a bit let's turn this M6 to a Linux XBMC only box which you're seeing right now which I have done now I'll give you a link on the description on how to turn your M6 into a Linux XBMC only box so nothing different, just a more dedicated XBMC with your M6 and it's updated to the latest Gotham release XBMC 13.0. But you're in luck, you can get the Android OS back on the M6 if you desire. Just look at the description below on how to do it. But for this review, I'm going to do the version of the Linux XBMC. Just like any box, I will test this box to the fullest. So let's start off with a movie trailer in 1080p. Now, as you can see, the metadata does pick up a little slow in the background, but it's not really a big deal. I'm running this box for the very first time with Linux. So far, it's playing seamlessly. 
and no buffering at all. Surprisingly, with that type of small casing on the M6, it's pushing the hardware to the fullest. So I would think it would the device would get really hot. So let's try a higher rate 1080p streaming file from the Big Bucks Bunny add-on. Full 1080p surround sound MP4 file with Dolby Digital. As you can see, the bu buffering starts right when you click on the link. This can mean two things. Either the site that I'm streaming on is having a hard time, or the box can't process the file fast enough. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is press play just to get it going. It's playing pretty good, the colors are alright, and but there it is again, another buffering time. Keep in mind, I do have a fast internet with 30 megabytes download. So I would think this would be the M6 that it's doing it. So I'm going to go press play again. As you can see, the buffer happens quite often if it's a full 1080p file. Now, let's go ahead and try another example. A local file that I have put on my USB drive. Obviously, it can stream it right away because it being local, the files that I've chosen are 1080p. Now, these are being streamed in your local network and will always play seamlessly anyway. I can skip forward and no stuttering at all from the video with the M6. So if you have a huge library of movies and TV shows, then the M6 will fit right at home. But if you're going to be streaming online, you might want to hold off on choosing the 1080p links. Don't get me wrong, the 720p files plays fine either online or on, the, on your network. Here's another example of another 1080p full, uh, movie that I have downloaded and which is an MKV file. All in all, the M6 as a Linux box is great, just need to be more optimized on the streaming 1080p files online. The great thing about the M6 is it lets you explore other OS on the M6, which is great. The downside is that this device does get really hot, almost unbearable to touch, and always has to be turned off and unplugged completely to be safe. The case being this small leaves no room for air and a lot of device do get hot after pushing all the hardware to the max. Just wanted to say thank you to theaterinabox.tv for sending me a Jinxbox M6 to review and visit their website and buy your first streaming box from them. And stay tuned for the written review of the Jinxbox M6 on my website xbmconnect.wordpress.com and don't forget to add xbmconnect to all your social media.